The following contest is a triple threat match and it is an elimination match. Making his way down to the ring, the challenger first. He is the chosen one, Drew McIntyre. And introducing his opponent, the Viper, Randy Orton. And introducing their opponent, he is the EHW World Heavyweight Champion, the architect, Seth Rollins. And here we go with the main event of the evening. The triple threat match for the world title. As this match straight underway and it's a German suplex straight to Seth Rollins. And Randy Orton goes straight out to the outside to get a chair. Oh, went to hit Drew McIntyre but Drew McIntyre was able to push him away. Oh, now a German to Randy Orton. 
Randy Orton and Seth Rollins now. What's this from Seth Rollins? A reverse DDT there. Oh, an uppercut attempt by Drew McIntyre. Now both men, except for McIntyre on the f floor. Oh, Seth Rollins is in the corner. Oh, just a, the chair right into the gut there. Of course, this match is under extreme rules due to it being a triple threat. As you, as we all know, Seth Rollins is at a huge disadvantage here. He could lose his title. The title he just got back since Drew McIntyre stole it at our last pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. Oh, now... Randy Orton playing mind games with Drew McIntyre. Oh, but Drew McIntyre saw it coming and sends him into the corner. Oh, Snake Eyes on the barricade there. Oh, was this Northern Light suplex there by the architect? These three men just brawling on the outside. Drew McIntyre sent straight into that LED corner ring post. Drew McIntyre looks a bit dazed as he heads back into the ring. Greats, even though I don't like him, that is quite a good game plan. Oh, as the two men follow suit. Oh, and returning the favour with a reverse DDT of his own is Randy Orton. Oh, suplex toss there. Oh, sending, which sends Randy Orton to the outside. Which leaves Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre to face off in the ring. Oh, what's... He got bland here. Oh! Dropping down. Seth Rollins. This rivalry started at... At Money in the Bank, as I said already, when... Two masked men attacked both of the two other men in this match. Randy and Seth. Oh, what's... Drew McIntyre got planned here, sends him off the ropes. Oh, just a lariat there, taking out the Viper. A oh, reversal there. Oh, straight onto the chair. Seth Rollins rolls out to the right, out to the outside. Oh, shot, elbow shots to the back of the face there. Of course, this match isn't over from the first fall. Of course, both, whoever wins this match has to... Score two pinfall victories. The obvious game plan here is probably to wear out one opponent with the other to then take out the, la the last man left, which who could actually have a disadvantage due to taking out the other one. Oh, a backbreaker there by Seth Rollins. Oh, pins Randy Orton. Two count. Oh, and a three. R Randy Orton's been eliminated already. Also, now it just leaves Seth Rollins and the chosen one, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. I don't even believe. I believe if he wins this match, he actually earns a contract. I believe. It seems a bit unfair. He's coming to this match free nearly. Of course. Oh, wait a minute. Drops down Seth Rollins. Drew McIntyre. Stole the... Oh, wait a minute. Future shock. We could have a new champion. Hooks the leg. One. Two. Three. No. Seth Rollins able to kick out of the future shock DDT. As we saw. Um, Drew McIntyre at the end of Money in the Bank after climbing the ladder when he wasn't even in the match stole the EHW title as you saw when Seth Rollins came down to the ring there was a new one a new championship as Seth Rollins lines up Drew McIntyre with a super kick straight to the side of the face there it was the new title was given to Seth Rollins after Drew, the one that Drew McIntyre stole was found in a dumpster absolutely destroyed by the brutality of Drew McIntyre. It was absolutely destroyed. They even showed me some of the pieces and it was an 
absolute all that was left was the actual leather strap it was like one le leather strap oh but Seth Rollins Seth Walker oh what's Seth got planned here lines up the chosen one what's he got planned here oh I think he was going for that record knee oh what's Seth Rollins got planned here oh my god brutal move Looks quite similar to a move I use, but not going to hold it against him. Oh, he brutal headbutt there by the Drew McIntyre. Oh, but Drew McIntyre here. Setting up the Claymore. Claymore to Seth Rollins. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. No. Seth Rollins able to get his shoulder up. Oh, what's Seth Rollins got planned here? Oh, it's taken down. Oh, just trying to take out Drew McIntyre. Oh, little leg sweep there, taking down the chosen one. Oh, an uppercut there, European uppercut. Sends several ones into the corner. Oh, brutal punches into the corner now. What's he got planned here? Gets him up. Oh, but Seth Rollins that saw it coming. Bit of a reversal there. Where's he take? Where's Drew? Where's Seth taking Drew? Oh, takes him down. Oh, just raking on the eyes there. Oh, German suplex. What's he got planned here? Oh, here we go. Oh, dropping down Seth Rollins. Gets him back up to his feet. Oh, sends him into the corner. Oh, sends him into the opposite corner. Oh, up and over. I even heard a click there. Maybe that was Seth Rollins' neck, maybe. Oh, what's he got planned it? Oh, hooks the arms. Future shock landing straight on the head, hooks the leg. One, two, three, no. 2.9, says our referee, Jack Stevens. Oh, a nice underhook. Suplex there by the champion, the architect, Seth Rollins. Oh, what's Drew got planned here? Takes down the champion. Seth Rollins now. Shoulder barge. Oh, Seth Rollins now. Lines up. Was trying to line up. Oh, but Seth Rollins able to sort it coming and sends Drew into the corner. Oh, lifts him to the top rope. Dangerous position here. Even for the monster, the brute force of Drew McIntyre. Oh, back suplex off the top. Both men clearly took damage into that. Oh, what's Seth Rollins got planned here? Heading to the outside. Oh, cross body to the back. Oh, kick to the face there by Drew McIntyre. Oh, and a headbutt. Oh, lining it up. Think he's going for that Claymore once again. I was lining them up. Claymore! Oh, hooks the leg now. For the championship. Two. Oh, no. Seth Rollins resilient once again. Does not want to lose that title. Oh. Seth, oh, Randy Orton was eliminated early in this match. Now Seth Rollins gets his hands on Drew McIntyre. Oh. What's he going for? It? I think he's going for that up and over again. Pure brutality shown here by the challenger, Drew McIntyre. Oh, what's he got planned here? Oh, Scottish curse. What's he got planned here? Oh, hooks the little arms. This could be it. Drew Future Shock. Hooks the leg. One, two, oh, and three. 
Drew McIntyre's done it. He was able to beat both Randy Orton and Seth Rollins. He picked up the win. He stole the title. Absolutely brutality shown by Drew McIntyre. This was a very one-sided match, even though there's three men in the ring. And he'd done it in quite a quick fashion. He was able to practically eliminate both men. But now, the outsider known as Drew McIntyre, the chosen one, as he calls himself, has once again stolen Seth Rollins' title. But this time, he did it legally. And Drew McIntyre is now our EHW World Heavyweight Champion. Seth Rollins is on the outside now. Can't even believe it. I can't believe it. We'll have to see what happens as EHW continues.